Hey everyone, welcome to the Horror PSA presented by Scary Nerd, and as always, we are your hosts. I'm Paul. I'm Saul. And I'm Angie. The following is a public service announcement. A gang of tough women bikers are the only thing that stands between a crowd of zombies, which have been accidentally let out of their secure cave, and those still alive in the town of Zariah. That's right. We watch Chomp. <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel. Chicks in Chopper Zombie Chicks town. in Zombie Town from 1999. I'm going to say this is a USA Up All Night special dedicated oh, to Gilbert gosh. Gottfried. So rest yes. in peace, Gilbert. Yes, because I showed Paul this movie many years ago because I loved this movie growing up because it was on Up All Night. That's where I saw it. Oh. It was on an episode of USA Up All Night. And I was very young i don't it was very very young because i remember specifically my mother just walking in like what are you watching and i was not i should not have been watching it because there there's a dwarf there there's jokes about blind orphans there's the blind orphan the blind orphan jokes there are so many there's tons of dyke jokes okay so with that said angie i am mad at your younger self (laughs) this movie movie was was bad oh it was amazing when i was young i was like look at these amazing women just kicking ass and taking names like just fighting zombies that's who i was gonna be when i I don't want to call these zombies (laughs) i want to call these drunk people (laughs) <laughs> i loved them no they're trauma zombies okay. meaning that they just uh, were like hey we need like 50 people for the day and we'll give you a dollar each and a bologna sandwich if you show up <laughs> apparently they they just raided somebody's like uh, uh wedding reception because yeah. everyone was there was yeah. a bride there uh-huh. was a girl, like everyone like there were people who just had a wedding they're like hey you guys want to be extras in this movie real quick he's like what are we he's like what are we zombies like what are zombies this just movie pretend they're makes drunk. no fucking sense either like not at, at any time like no the one zombie zombie biker that gets changed isn't really hungry for dead people or for live people she just wants dick the yeah, whole she time she wants meat <laughs> just she wants to blow people that's all she wants the whole time she's like uh, she blows like three different people in this movie and i'm like she what apparently is going on? was down zombie. for some sausage she, was, she, she was needed like, i need to blow sausage. somebody she didn't even want sex she just wanted to blow somebody the other super dyke just wanted to hump the jukebox and that's the how army she got one home. the army one straight rapes a dude i thought the army one was a lesbian at first the yeah. whole yeah. time with him like she just rapes again i forgot about that scene kid. until we were watching it for the podcast i was like she just walked in and raped that dude oh yeah she did and then when his mom shows up he's like it's about damn time i know the mom was happy he was raped it was a weird <laughs> I, time yeah, than 89s i guess <sighs> okay so what was your guys's most cringe worthy moment of this movie because i already know what it is for me Oh, the most cringe-worthy moment. Cringe-worthy. Um, like you mean the worst effects or the worst no, I, joke I, or what, what, overall? Overall, what did you watch and you're like, oh, this is just you just cringed. I I don't know. I don't cringe because I find I I don't like the feeling of cringe in my body. So I usually laugh as opposed uh-huh. to cringe. And I did it when uh, the the zombie who wants to just blow people goes me. <laughs> just really loud and i'm like why okay. why are you doing that <laughs> paul all right um I, i'm gonna preface this with saying that we didn't um we didn't really prep you for what you were about oh, yeah. to experience yeah no uh, we were just uh, like uh. this movie yeah so so you had no idea what you're going into no i didn't i had some sort of clue because i remember when uh the first time angie showed it to me we talked about it for a little bit she he said, didn't you believe remember? me that it existed and i was like what i'm like i don't remember that because I, I, mm-hmm. I used to watch up all night too and i don't same remember the here. movie same here so we found it and the only way you can find it apparently is still youtube, YouTube. Mm-hmm. so of course we not only watched it on YouTube, but it has to be the crappiest version you can obviously. Oh, yeah. It's like if somebody's you, VHS they no, uploaded to it, YouTube. Yeah, it's like if you took a VHS, made a copy of that for your friend, and then uploaded that version to mm-hmm. YouTube. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, 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 even with the, uh, complete with the, the tracking spots mm-hmm. where it's like, you mm-hmm. got to move the thing. Um, so you weren't prepared for any of the horror. No, I wasn't. But, um, for me, like, just knowing what you to expect, I guess, like or knowing what I was getting into, mm-hmm. I you know I didn't really have cringe worthy moments because I'm like, I know it was gonna be bad. I know yeah. it was gonna be that cheesy badness. And yeah. like, if you're prepared for that, then I guess it's not as bad. But if you had no idea walking in like you did, then yeah, I can guess oh, like yeah. it, it took a while to adjust maybe. But um, 
I guess if there's only things that I cringe at, it wasn't just because it was bad. It was so much like, wow, can't say that anymore. Yeah. Uh, when the blind kid, the blind kid back and forth when he's talking shit to the guy fixing the bus. <laughs> oh, my God. And I'm like, that's as soon like, as your parents yeah. show up. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, nobody wants it. Nobody cares about a bunch of bump reading bastards. And I'm like, oh, my God, you can't, you can't say You couldn't make this today. They like, say no. they make the dwarf guy say if God wanted me to do normal things, he would have made me normal size. Really I was so, like, yeah. oh, I'm like, Yo, like, you can't do this. Guys, I do, no. have to, I do have to say something about him. Did you guys know him from any other movie? Ed Gale. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, yeah, if you've never seen this movie, um, there's a few people you'll recognize. Yeah. Mean, one of them is Ed Gale, who just plays a, the... Is he the coroner's he's the assistant? assistant? I yeah. would say he's assistant. Is, yeah. is the guy the, the yeah. coroner, or is he just like the coroner caretaker all in one? Because it's a small shit town. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. okay, so, like in most horror movies. Um, I, th- I think we should explain the movie a little bit, because there's probably going to be a lot of people that have never seen this That's fucking movie. That's true. That's so do you guys want to know what my... The, my cringe moment was yeah what was, oh, your, cringe right. what was your cringe moment the singing on the fucking jukebox oh okay oh See, yeah i have to agree the, with that this is the best singing because i ever. do i do wanted to bring that up i was gonna bring that up and say like <laughs> like how would you say like what would you do exactly. if that was happening in real life yeah. to you? i'd be like shut up because i would just is, go unplug the jukebox because be like no thank you l- 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 let's set up what happens they all get to the town well, wait, let's revisit that. Let's okay. let's go through the movie first. Okay. Yeah, because okay. a lot of people probably haven't seen this. Paul, like we said, Paul yes. didn't believe me this existed at first. So, well, here's the thing. Well, the, you didn't you didn't say it was. Well, if you guys were to set me up like that, then I would probably would have been the same way too. <laughs> because you guys told me I'm like, okay, whatever. You got. I'm what, trusting your judgment. What fun which, would that have been? So? Oh, <sighs> I told you, Billy Bob Thornton was in it. I had <laughs> I had my fun a couple weeks ago with making you guys watch The Crow. <laughs> yes. So now it was it was it was, it was yes. payback. I consider this movie a palate cleanser from last week's 2000s film. Oh, we, yeah. we just, you know, we went We're to definitely uh, on the other end of the spectrum. Yes, of this one. so we needed yeah, a little yeah. jarringness, and that's definitely what we got. Okay, so we recognize Ed Gill. We recognize a very, very okay. young Billy Bob Thornton. Mm-hmm. So those are going to be the only two people that you recognize in this. Oh, movie, there's a third, like off the bat. Okay, well, well I mean, for, for most people, yeah. the weekend at Bernie's guy, the weekend at Bernie's guy. You'll recognize <laughs> no, I'm not two. talking about the weekend at Bernie's guys. I'm talking about another one. Okay, one of the chopper chicks. No, I'm talking about one of the kids who's very young, oh. ends up becoming somebody. Yeah, that no. guy's. A, I don't want to say it because that guy's a douche. I don't like House Parks. That's what we were meant. Yeah, that's what I was referring he's, to he's as House douche. Parks. I don't even want to bring up House Parks. He's I don't know who that is. He's a comedian. He's a douche. Oh. I remember I've him. I used him to in watch. Person. He's a douche. I watch. I don't know if you ever watched a lot of the VH ones, like the Remember the '80s, Remember the '90s, or whatever anything. Yeah, no, because those were cringe. Yeah, yeah. He was on, you he was do. On that. You you have seen them, and you if you reckon, if you see the guy, you'll be like, wow, that guy is a douche. Wow. You too. He gave yeah. me those vibes, but anyways, no, he's a douche. I've met him in life. He's okay. a douche. I mean, all right, so let's talk about the. Uh, let's just break down the movie real quick. So, this group of uh, biker chicks, opera, uh, chopper, chicks, chopper, chopper chicks, chopper chicks, chopper chicks, roll chicks. into this little shit town called Zariah. And I looked up the filming locations of this town, and it is somewhere between Bakersfield and Las Vegas, in the middle of the desert parts of California. So they just found an abandoned town, probably. Uh, pr- it, this is what it looks like. Yeah, it didn't have like most. It didn't have electricity by the looks of it. Like, yeah. All of the sets and all the places they were in, they were, had like They're lanterns. Right yeah. So I was like, Does, yeah. is there no electricity in like the filming spots? I mean, <laughs> it's a cheap way to go, I guess. Because yeah, because even in the in the house in in the one scene, there's like just like the fire. Light, yeah, but basically. trauma's kind of like that, isn't yeah. it? Like I mean, find the yeah. cheapest They're thing we can made. do. So, yeah, it's yeah. probably like okay. This was a drug town. Everybody left, and now nobody's here. We could film yeah. here for three days. So and I mean, what? you can totally tell because they're spray painting the oh, side yeah. of oh, buildings yeah. oh, and yeah. shit. <laughs> so we get. So anyway, the chopper chicks roll into this little shit town, and um, basically they all want uh, to have sex with somebody. I mean, yeah. That's the premise for most of them. They're like, we need to get some meat. Mm-hmm. Um, other chicks. But that one lady says they're all on the rag. So I'm like, are we just red winging it through know. this town? I mean, no. Nobody was going down on these chicks. No. Okay, and I'm going to say this, and it's not just because they're women, but motorcycle people like this, I'm always like, you probably smell so They bad. have to, because they're yeah. sitting on outside. You're wearing jeans and you're then sweating. leather pants, yeah. and you're riding motorcycles. And like, yeah, 
Nothing about anything that you're bringing over here makes me think about no. sex. It's like you need a shower. No, like I've never seen like a guy get off a motorcycle and be like, "Oh my god, I bet he just smells amazing." I just want to suck if it's the like cheese a, off his balls. Yeah, right no. Now. Like, especially no. if it's like a long trip. Mm, yeah, because the thing. If I it's mean, any trip, I don't care if you go down the street and come back. If you're riding a bike and all that get up, no. Once you get on there, too we sweat. much yes. sweatiness. We're There's humans. too much sweatiness you for me to shower. be like. Come over on your bike and let's have sex. Especially people that are like, um, I mean, because they're okay, this is like the quintessential like uh, you know movie <laughs> stereotype of like you Bikers. know a biker gang, right? It's we're a group of women. They're like, it's we're a biker the cycle gang. sluts. So that's what, yeah. There was yeah. the cycle sluts, and it was like, so it's like you you get like that whole sense of like you know they go from town to town, they do whatever to make money, you know, blah blah blah. And I'm always like. And haven't showered in a month. Does no one think of that? Because that's immediately where my fucking head goes to. The thing that's funny to me, though, is that they're supposed to be a bike, a biker gang, but they didn't put their colors on until they got to a town. I didn't understand why they needed to stop in this little shit town all of a sudden. And yeah. why, like, everything that everyone said seemed to create animosity towards somebody else. Oh, yeah. Well, we find out why one of them kind of wanted to go past that little shit town. Well, yeah, because that's so, I mean, she was that was her small shit town. She didn't want to go back. So there. another person that you're going to recognize, but it's not really her. Uh, Reba McIntyre is in this movie. <laughs> and she plays <laughs> one of the cycle sluts that is actually um, she's the wish. She's a Reba Dee Dee, I believe her name. Yeah, was. Um, she's the wish version of, of Reba. Is that what you yeah. Said? Mm. Okay. So Wish Reba and Donnie, who is played by none other than Billy Bob Thornton, so. BBT is in this movie, and I think mm-hmm. this was his like seventh thing on his IMDb credits list. So he's yeah, still he, he's still trying to get some shit going. Very green at this point. Well, this yes. is before he did Tombstone. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, I think he might have done Tombstone like the year after or yeah, two years it was after. it was very early. Like I said, but like seventh the, thing. I, well, well, the thing the thing about it with Billy Bob though is I don't think I've ever ever se- I don't think I've ever seen him in anything in any movie where he's not been bald or balding. Yeah, even this one, his hairline is yeah, pretty yeah, far back. Yeah, it's disappearing. It's yeah. Like, I mean, hey, uh, that's genetics. So Dee Dee Wish Reba was the homecoming queen of this shit town, and she is married to Donnie, who lives in this town. I think it was a mechanic or mm-hmm. something. And yeah. uh, we do have to know, since Saul brought up the Crow episode, that this one did have a Sharpie budget as well, because yes. she has a Donnie tattoo <laughs> written on oh, her yes. and stomach Sharpie. and Sharpie. I don't even know if that was Sharpie. That must have just been a washable a marker they found. Yeah, It was, <laughs> it was a Crayola washable like, marker. Quick, we need to come up with a tattoo. Who's got what? Just write Donnie real fast, because I'm that like, that's Donnie, not even a tattoo, guys. Is that, is that Donnie with a Y or an IE? I, uh, I don't know. No. Just throw it out. And are we surprised they got infected? Right? Like, where'd you get <laughs> it? Did you get it in a bar? Because that's probably why. Well, that's what she said. Too. She's like, I was drunk, and I was thinking about you, and I got this tattoo. I'm like, right there at the bar? Yeah. Well, what would have made it even funnier is if they misspelled it. If you would have said that, like, you misspelled it. So I said, what, IE or Y? How do you, I don't know. What's the difference? It's the thought that counts, right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> My name's Ronnie. <laughs> you didn't say Donnie this uh, whole time? We had a marriage license. You saw my name yes. written down. I was drunk. <laughs> okay, um, so they roll into town, and some of them uh, look for um, some meat. Yeah. Some um, of them find it. One of them goes and rapes a dude who's just sitting on it. He's like apparently a teenager who's just watching Like, really? TV. She just walks into the house? Yeah, she, 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 walks, she kicks the door open, and like he's just laying there and doesn't move, and then she just like literally just gets on top of him. She and, says, I want coitus. Yeah. Yes. And then she and then it cuts to later on. She snooze like, snooze him is she's what done. happens. Yes. She yes. snooze snooze yes. this poor nerd kid. And then she walks out as the mom who's a nurse who's smoking a cigarette. Walks in. With a bag of groceries, walks in and is like, it's about time. I thought you were going to be a virgin forever. And I'm like, mm-hmm. your son was just raped. Lady. Yeah. Call call. And then she gives him his, she gives him her cigarette. And then she's like, maybe now you'll move out. And then boom, like the end of the That's scene. That's the end That's of the, the scene. scene. It literally happens, okay? Side note, we had to find a different version to see what she gives her son because we couldn't tell in the first version because it was so blurry. <laughs> <laughs> it was so blurry. I was like, does she? I know she I was gave like, what is something. she doing? And I can't like, tell. Does she pick her nose yeah. and make him eat it? Like, what is she doing? I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't see. The, the, the version that we had, they didn't do the tracking in that scene, but the other version they did. Yeah. Was, the other thing that kind of cracked me up about this movie it was one of the other biker chicks where they try to give her a, a sad, sob backstory that she left her family and she's calling her kid they're trying to give all of these like oh they're misfit ladies like they have the lesbian okay they so have the the Lilia. one who's a wall let's talk one. about her so that's the one they i don't know if she has another name but they call her mama because mm-hmm. yeah. she has a kid with a husband somewhere and she calls 
she calls. she calls the kid and she's like, "Happy birthday! I'm gonna send you something." Where's your dad? And she's like, "Oh, he's he's out with, with aunt so and so, Aunt Linda." And she's like, "That's not your aunt. It's not your aunt, baby." Uh, well, the one thing that was funny too is how when she calls, like, "Who's this?" It's like, "It's your mom." Well, I mean, if you just leave your kid yeah. to go beyond the yeah, road true. somewhere, I mean, I don't, I don't really get like how they tried to make that sympathetic because. I'm like, you still left your kid there. Yeah. And even later when they reveal it, like your husband beat you and then you left him, but you left your kid there. Yeah, you left your kid there. That makes it, it even worse. All right. Like, like, I'm going to send you something. Like, send him nothing. Like, go get him. Like, I mean, I don't know. Biker life like, is probably I had not the to best for away. kids either. But. I had to get away. For, like, but if you had to get away, chances are your child also See, needed yep. to leave. Not knowing anything about this movie with that, when they had her introduction, I'm like, okay, she's going to be the main character because they kind of made you care about her because they're like, okay, she's got a kid. So you're thinking, <laughs> okay, she's going to have some sort of nope. redemption arc. You thought there was no. rhyme or reason to no. tell yeah, I thought film. there was going to be some some sort of rhyme or reason. <laughs> there but no. is no rhyme or reason no. for anything gets, in this movie. She slides on her bike and gets run over by a, what is it, a bus and blown up. Instantly fucks up. Just like the other one, the one who gets taken by the corner or whatever. She's like, I'm going to go, I'll be back in 15 minutes, hopefully an hour if I'm lucky. Yeah. I'm like, going to go find some dick I'm going to go find town. some Immediately gets hit by a car and taken by the yep. <laughs> undertaker. Taker, like immediately. Well, he was turns planning, a corner. He's planning out. on murdering her, though. Yeah. To, to, well, yeah, you know, he to wants her credit. He I wants guess. to put batteries because they didn't really explain okay. the, the, yeah. the zombies no, no, very let's, well let's either. Get, <laughs> let's get to that when he when he does the the hole in the head of the sheriff thing. <laughs> yes. Okay. So another uh, another chick needs to borrow a torque wrench, and I don't know if she actually needed to fix her bike or if she was just trying to only get laid with this. trolling for some tool. So she <laughs> trolls for some tool in the mechanic shop, and he's like, I can't help you, maybe I'm using the torque wrench. It, it's not even really a mechanic shop. It's a building that's crumbling that just yeah. has some tools yeah, and a broken down car might, in this it. This might not have been a mechanic. It might have just been some guy trying to fix his car. Yeah. <laughs> it just, like, just abandoned Who stumbled warehouse. into a movie. He's like, what? what? Yeah, I'm like, oh. And then she's like, maybe we can work something out. I'm like, you need to borrow a torque wrench, not money like, like yeah. why <laughs> that man is a method actor that's not part of our <laughs> he's not an actor he's but just some guy fixing his car the right? working something out was apparently a little you know dick for the use of a torque wrench again i'm like both of you smell yes yeah. both of yeah, you yeah because that one yes. dude i never understood that trope either right like the whole like i like the dirty stinky mechanics like but you See, can't okay. have sex with them. It's because okay, right it's away. It's because I think that the, the women are like, okay, you want the dirty, stinky, hot mechanic that you see in like a calendar shoot, who's not really dirty and stinky. He's like, made he up just, to look that he's way. He's made up to look that way. It's like okay, you know, like the fucking uh, the cereal commercials. You know, it's not milk; it's glue, but it makes mm-hmm. it look appetizing. Like yes. it's not really ice cream. Like it's bullshit, right? So you want the bullshit version <laughs> of that because real mechanics don't look like that. Like, no, okay, so no, they're like, they're like black from the dirt underneath. Yeah, like the cars. Look, look at a mechanic's fingernails that doesn't wear gloves. All yeah. right, look at his hands that doesn't wear gloves. Like, yeah, you don't want that touching you. No, okay. <laughs> There's no like, oh, I can make it. Yeah, nobody's crawling it. out from under a greasy thing and touching my like. No, we, thank you. We Don't can touch work something me. out, baby. If you more torque wrench. I just want a torque wrench. I'll go to Walmart. So she gets. I'm gonna go to Walmart. <laughs> she gets some D by banging, bumping uglies with the mechanic, who we never see again. No, we that. don't. No, you do. You see him do at we? the end. Post, do you? Uh, post sex, I think. Okay. No, like, you, I think you see him uh, at some point in the town when they're leaving. No, because I thought they after they leave after the the mob comes is when you don't see him again. I don't remember. There's some point where like they're leaving or something. And he comes up and like gives her a kiss and then you know whatever. Yeah. So the townspeople are kind of back and forth of what do they want these biker babes in their town? Because okay. on one hand they yeah. want their money. Yeah. Because they go into like this children of the corn diner. Mm-hmm. They do. Yeah. And all these people are staring at them. No children and, like, though. Yeah, <laughs> and they're staring at them like, "What the fuck do you people want?" And the 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 head chick, I don't even know her name. But, Neither do I. Mama. Uh, the head biker chick, no, that's not Mama. Well, the Roxy. The yeah. Dyke. Roxy. There you go. Roxy. Yeah, the one that's like, "I'm the Dyke." Ah! For the record, I'm the Dyke. <laughs> um, actual line in the movie. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, so she throws a bunch of money down, and he's like, "Welcome to Zariah," yeah, and like, that immediately gives them permission to just steal people's food off their plate and, and the like grab their drinks. And I'm like, "What? You just like, and you interrupt just... a funeral at the bar?" Oh, yeah. yeah, that okay. We're gonna get to <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, so in another part, we have young TC who is looking for 
love as well. And I think, what is this kid doing? What was what was he? Was he another mechanic? Is this just a town? I think he, mechanics are just I like think it was supposed to be like a hardware cars. store or something. There oh, that's go. right. It was a hardware store. That's yeah. Right. It was, but it, again, a crumbling building with no electricity. Yeah. So <laughs> what are we <laughs> supposed a, to know? And a couple of tools what he does. behind yeah. the counter. So yeah, she goes in and starts talking to this guy and giving her a uh, her sad life story about how she wanted to be a producer, but she mm-hmm. ended up just being tossed around by roadies for sex. Pretty much. Um, and then I, I, the cleverest thing in this whole movie, and I think it was smoothed by this kid, because I think he was the sheriff's son, right? I think yeah. so, yeah. Yeah. So the cleverest thing is like, because they graffiti the side of his um, building. Is it his building? Or I yeah. think so, yeah. So yeah. The side of the hardware store where he works at, instead of selling anything because there's nobody to sell it to, yeah. anyway, yep. they go out and uh, spray paint the back side of the wall where it basically said the Psycho Sluts World Tour 1988. Yes. Mm-hmm. In like the whole wall like yeah. of the building. Um, and then the smoothest thing is like, so why do you call yourself Psycho Sluts? <laughs> so, you know, smooth. Because yeah. then she's like, I'll, I'll show you why we call ourselves Psycho Sluts. <laughs> you thought that was smooth. That was smooth. Because <laughs> he, he, all he had to do was bring it up. She's like, well, people are going to call us that anyway. Yeah. And then what was the next thing she said? You got a back room? Boom. Smelly poon. It's what he wanted. They all wanted the D. They all did. Okay. Well, this was, this was to... Tinder before Tinder. Okay, but she was talking about other shit, and he's like, baby, let me just steer this right back into he sex. He initiated it this he time. He steered that conversation right back into sex and not her sabby, mm. her That's sobby right. sap story about not being a producer. <laughs> Plus, I don't think she was like, because he was like, what kind of band do you want? She's like, I, I want to be a producer. You know, like, move up the baseline. And I'm like, do you think that's all producers do? Like, maybe that's why you can't be a producer. You know what the fuck the job is. So you don't know what to do. Does anybody, though, when they see a job at first, and like, I want that job. Nobody knows what that job entails. You yeah, but know everybody you want that job. though. You should know something about Well, that. I mean, yeah. by the time you're a grown-up and you want to travel around with bands, then yeah, you should definitely that's know what I'm something. Saying, okay. <laughs> okay, so I, I really want to do a quick side note about tc is the character all right um she is played by her name is she looks familiar lisa naff she is familiar um who remembers lethal weapon the first one Uh, do you remember trixie the (sighs) prostitute okay okay I don't remember. The chick Trixie. falls out the window. Like she, Trixie is the one that pushes her out the window. We come to find later in Lethal Weapon. Mm. Amanda Hunsaker, right? So the next morning, when Roger Murtaugh is there investigating, and they're like, "Oh, we got an eyewitness." She's like, "Yeah, I saw this," and she's like, um, "Yeah, man, she did this and blah blah blah." And then she's like, "All right, cut her loose. You got her statement." And then they always cut it out on TV. But then Murtaugh says. What's wrong? All dressed up and no one to blow? And then she turns around and she's like, you're real funny, man. <laughs> That's TC from this movie. Mm-hmm. She was Trixie the prostitute. Because then later the next day the kids are like, you're going to bust Trixie. <laughs> yes. I remember that scene. So I know what Paul So do about. I. Yeah, yeah. I don't recall that scene. I remember that you're going to bust Trixie scene. But I've, I've, I haven't seen Lethal Weapon for in years. It's a very good Christmas movie. Look, that's why she looks so familiar is because I don't. I, it wasn't very long ago that we saw Lethal Weapon again. Okay, so what else happens before the zombies get out? Uh, uh, well, we we meet the the blind orphans. That's right, because it's on there's the side <laughs> of their bus. Yeah. So for some reason, there's a bus full of blind orphans because are, the bus literally why. says "blind orphanage" or something. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like it's blind kid orphanage. I right? think it's a blind the home for blind orphans. Yeah, there's yes. something like that. Yeah. Like, and so there's two people that they're handlers or whatever, right? And the guy's trying to fix the the bus, and there's just one shitty blind kid who's just a dick. Yeah, he's a him. dick. He's like, uh, "You gonna fix that?" He's like, "I didn't do it." Like he was but just talking it, shit. We can't to forget guy. that the bus driver also, for some reason, thinks that it's safe to have an Uzi <laughs> hanging up I in the bus. They called it an Uzi, but that I know wasn't it wasn't an Uzi. An Uzi. No, it was something else. <laughs> it was some prop um, gun that they yeah. they called an Uzi. <laughs> what they found and could paint to look like a real yeah. gun on a budget. <laughs> Um, yeah, that this is where he says, and you, no one cares about a bunch of bump reading bastards. And mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> I think he says something. He gives, he takes a pot shot at the, the guy. And he's like, yeah. Oh, he says something. He's like, yeah. He's like, a man that's dedicated his life to watching bumping, like blind reading bastards or bump reading bastards or something. And he's like, why don't you go do something else with your life? And then the the caretaker, or whatever, he's like, yeah, I'll wait. He's like, I'll do that right after your parents pick you up. <laughs> I'm like, 
Wow, you can't say these things anymore. There's so much in this movie you can't say. They're so funny, though, because you just laugh. You're like, yeah, that is just horrible. So we find out that the the caretaker, you know, wants to kill everyone, basically. And he has no reason for it. (laughs) That was the other thing I was waiting for. Wait, wait, wait. (laughs) Not the blind kid's caretaker, right? No, no, no. no. Not the blind kid's caretaker. You didn't transition that well enough to be like, wait, the guy wants to kill the blind (laughs) kid? This shit just got interesting. The the caretaker, the undertaker, I meant, not caretaker. Undertaker. Or whatever the you want. Yeah. slash undertaker Taker slash funeral crazed director. man. Yeah. The weekend at Bernie's guy, basically. He never, he never explains why nope. he's doing this. Other than he wants them to work in a mine. Yeah, yeah. To get <sighs> okay. some toxic shit out of a mine. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> so he kills he kills the biker chick. Yeah, right. he, Lucille is the one. He kills. Lucille, yes. He kills Lucille like she's riding down, trying to troll for some D down the street. Yeah, the one that immediately died after she's and, like, "I'll be back in fifteen minutes." And yeah. he, immediately he died. drives the hearse right in front of her and kills her. Right. Yeah. Um, and then he puts some like blue liquid Drano shit in her to I get think. her blood out yeah. of yes. her body. And uh, then later, like she turns into a zombie that we come to find out later when her friends come looking for her at the. At the rundown shack slash coroner's office? I don't, I don't know. know. Whatever it is. Um, but yeah, like none of this makes sense. But okay, I'll say it later. I have, I have a theory about the weekend of Bernie's <laughs> guy that I'll bring up later. Okay, let's get to the, 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 the zombie reveal. So there's a cave apparently that the military put some shit in that yeah. later um, little Bob, I think his name is. Some kid. No, random. not not the kid, uh, the the dwarf. Oh, okay. Is it little John, little Bob. Little Bob. 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 He's just Bob or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, he later reveals an exposition scene and explaining everything that the military dumped some shit down there, and uh, the coroner guy found out that it could reanimate people and make zombies, yeah. and he's been using it for weird experiments. And then when you know when he's done with these people, he just throws them in this mine and locks them up. Yeah. So apparently. Um, how Sparks is in this movie, and he lets out all the fucking zombies because, you know. Okay, here's my here's my issue with this. You have a cave where you're keeping these zombies, and you don't want them to get out, right? Mm-hmm. You're doing. But you a, don't have a lock, right? No, you have a lock, but they you don't lock it. Yeah, no, the they kid oh, lets they, they them didn't, out. They didn't yeah, lock it. The lock. Go see and somebody. I don't understand. Like, so the kid shows up in the very beginning, and he's like, "Daddy, like, why would your dad be in there?" First yeah. off. Because this kid looks like he's running away. Yeah. Like he packs a bag and he's on his bike and he's going down like the one fucking road that leads yeah. to the one road. Town. But then he crawls in to the one specific spot where yeah. <laughs> where this door leads and is padlocked but isn't locked locked. Yeah, it's, it's got just, yeah, it's got a lock let's on there. Because Bob lost the key. That's why that's why the coroner was so mad at him. Because there's later a scene where the fucking coroner for some reason puts Bob the dwarf in a coffin oh, yeah. and, and, drowns him. and then throws it in a well. Yeah. And then Bob comes back later and has one of the cheesiest. Okay, that's the fucking cringiest thing. He's like, oh, but I've, I've been, been a bad, bad boy. Well, there's that one. And then he, he then says, later it he the, says it to the coroner the after, he gets, a, bad after he gets a blowjob in the freezer from the other zombie. Lucille, yeah. Yes. She needed the meat. That's okay. So Lucille comes back as a, a, a blowjob machine zombie. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, like the kid lets them out for some reason. They like, get yeah, the whole blood effect. Uh, like I'm like, did someone spill their drink or something? Yeah, it was like hardly any blood. Like they do that thing where it goes into the room, the door closes, you hear noise, and all of a sudden you see blood splatter under the door. But it literally looked like there's somebody put like two packets of ketchup and stepped on them real quick. <laughs> so where this movie got me because I'm like, okay, up up there was there was to a point to where I was like, okay, maybe we're getting the- to your point. <laughs> Well, we were getting to a point, like, there was a, there was a point in the movie where I'm like, okay, eh, it's 80s, it's cheesy, but maybe it will redeem itself. Oh. But where it lost me... <laughs> the music. The music. <laughs> the fucking music. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> like, the whatever carnival <laughs> clown, whatever yeah. type fucking music me, that was, was. What was I saying? It was like... It's uh, a comedy. It does, this, is, uh, this movie is labeled what? as a comedy, so what? it wasn't meant to be taking 100%. What? Again, I didn't know. I, you guys told me. I, I went in this blindly not knowing anything about it. But like I said, up to the point of where the music kicked in when these zombies were revealed is where it's like, okay, it's going to be one of these type of movies yep. now. Yep. Because, mm-hmm. yeah. It's a trauma movie. Yeah, the, God, the music. I say? It was like um, Russian carnival music, mm-hmm. I think is what yeah, I, what, I It was I something like, 
Yeah, Even the it, rock music, it, it's just so, at oh, this point, okay. it's so painful so, okay, in the 80s. Yeah, so, so just to give you an understanding of it, and I think if we can, we'll put, the, we'll put a little taste of it at the end credits oh, of yeah, this, yeah. If, we, if we can find it or whatever. But um, just to give you a little taste of this, uh, the, when the zombies get out of the cave, they start marching because there's a sign conveniently saying the town's five miles away. Mm-hmm. So they start marching down the road towards the town. Well, that's as, their home. They're all yeah. just going. Well, I mean, they're, they're all from they're all from the town. The, you know, because of the corners from there and everything. So they all start marching towards the town, and you get this weird music that sounds like f- it's like the music is like fun carnivaly kind of yeah. sounding music, and like just silly little sounds and like almost like do 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 do. And did you guys notice that one a couple of the zombies almost fall as they're coming out of the thing? <laughs> yes. Like, well, again, these are just like, like I said, yeah, I think one of them even has like a mask on. I don't even think it's makeup. I think it's like yeah. it's a full mask with hair attached and everything. Yeah, it was like, like just throw this on and get out. Mm, we don't have any more time. Like, oh, I'm like can he not see in the mask? We're Does filming in 2 minutes. Just well, get to out me there. it was when they got out of there they're they're stumbling around just was like, "Oh, this is last call and all the college kids are out." Mm. Hey, you going to be in a movie? Sure. <laughs> um, so it's it's like carnival music, but then there's like Russian chanting. Like if you think of like oh, the Russian yeah. music, like the big like sounding chorus. But then when you see the biker chick, the chopper chicks. I'm sorry, ladies, they're choppers. Chopper chicks. Yes, uh, chopper when chicks. you see the chopper chicks, it's always like. Dim! Yeah, like yeah. the, the cheesy, big hair, 80s. like that cheesy, like late eighties metal that it's like. If you think of any like power, ballads. like I thought of like oh not power ballads, but I always thought of that. Remember that Lorenzo Lama show Renegade? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was like, yeah. this is the same kind of bullshit they do. Key and Peele do a do a yeah. sketch about a like a cheesy like Lorenzo Lama's made for TV kind of movie thing <laughs> where it has like that just generic like. <laughs> It's one of those things where you'd find that that horrible like bird sound like yeah. yeah. Um so yeah, that's the contrast of the music that you the score, I guess. And they just use them over and over again. So mm-hmm. there's no really difference between mm-hmm. like chopper tricks. But yeah, that's zombies. where that's that's the point in the movie where it was like I said, you go from one point to another point and it just lost me. I'm like, "Oh no." See, and I really oh, think no. if you change that music, it would make the movie it, it, it would, would make the movie. Better. I feel like it would. It, it would change because you could definitely make it worse if you use different music too. Oh, yeah. So I don't know. If you could uh, make this movie better or worse. This movie is uh, pretty craptacular all on its own. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's it is amazing because it it <laughs> it holds great memories so in my brain. <laughs> let, let let's get to what we teased earlier about the song and the jukebox. Yeah, so I was going to bring up where the the town people flip, but I guess we got to talk about the jukebox. We have first. we have to. We need to. Because they don't get mad with them until like way later. But I'm like, so you weren't mad at the music thing. You weren't mad when oh well, yeah, it was later. Oh, what? Th- wasn't that also the the bar where It was the still the bar. Was afterwards. So they go to this bar to drink and blow off steam so, apparently. So the main chick, right? What's Roxy. her name? What, Roxy, right? right yeah. The main chick who's like the leader of the chick, who one who's like the self-proclaimed She I'm didn't the, want yeah. to do it, but there was no one going to be. I'm yeah. the big dyke. What does she call herself? I don't remember she's like I'm the super dyke or something. There you go. Um yeah, so she gets mad that all the other chicks want to go and have sex or whatever. And so she gets pissed and starts yelling at half of them, and mm-hmm. then she just goes into a bar with one of the other ones who, can't for the most about. part of the movie, you, you know, Doesn't she can't anything. talk, apparently. Yeah. She, she can't talk. Um, they go, and this is the most cringeworthy thing in the whole fucking movie. Um, Roxy goes to the jukebox and plays, apparently, just a generic a instrumental generic, yeah. of, like, you know, well, generic... Rock. rock. She does it's the whole because you walk into the depressing country music and she does the one thing that a lot of people have done with jukeboxes is you just punch it to get it to stop playing and that song. it changes the whole and new of song. Of course, it yeah. plays your song that you wanted. That she yes. wanted to sing over that, the no, top No, when you of. put the quarter in and you push the button, if you, if you punch it like that. jukebox karaoke. You guys have never you, done this? If you punch the carry, if you punch <laughs> the jukebox, then it plays your song immediately. That's, yeah. that's the old way yeah. of... Nowadays, they got smart, and that's why now it's like if you pay an extra quarter, we'll play your song next. Like an extra See, they got smart. Like, mm. stop hitting our fucking jukebox. We don't want to do that anymore. No. Just, you want your song played next? Jukeboxes are the worst. It. Pay for it. Jukeboxes right. are the worst. I'm just going to put this out there. Nobody wants to hear your fucking stupid ass song. Okay, well, jukeboxes aren't meant for people to sing along, though. Okay? No, it's I'm not, saying it's in general. Nobody wants you to pick the music, Todd. Unless you do something evil with the music that's on there. 
No, never. Nobody wants to hear your shit. No, but still, you two boxes are stupid. Saying, yeah, like if you're leaving, like I'm gonna put no. twenty dollars in here and we'll put the pina colada song on. No, you don't do the pina colada. You do the what's new pussycat. You haven't heard that that no. comedy bit. No. Oh, I'll have to play for you guys later. Okay, okay. Sorry. So, anyways, um, she, they, they she play. starts singing the song about what? What was the fucking chorus? Do what do your mama what your told you. Do what your mama told you. Yeah. Like, do what do your what mama told you. Big mama like, told you. That's what it was. Do big what mama. big mama told you. Mm-hmm. There you go. Over and over again. Like that's literally the only lyrics. I don't even remember. What she has a couple. Else. Co- she has a couple lyrics in there. Like a couple. And like she's like writhing sexually, right on top of yes. the jukebox. But then when the song is over, it's like she's mad. Yeah. At the people who are still there. I'm like, did you want them to leave because you were singing? Because they're also like, having like a wake for yeah. some guy. No, like, it's like a full on funeral. Yeah. Okay, like, well, like, there's a bunch of people at the bar and there's an open casket there's at the end of the There's a body just hanging out there that she yeah. touches. She touches him and like makes it like she kind of plays with his face a little bit. Yeah. When she's saying one of the two lyrics, I think, in the fucking song. And are all those dudes like turned on by her? Because I'm like, why are like, I couldn't tell if they were turned on or if they were angry. I I'm probably Maybe a little bit of both. both. They had anger boners, so they anger couldn't get boners, up. Anger boners, gotcha. They couldn't get up. Because this is the problem. new chick, and she's writhing on a jukebox, but um, still, though, it's just like, but why? No, like, yeah, she got why? mad at the other chicks for wanting to go have sex, but I'm like, but then you come in here and fuck the jukebox? Because yeah. she's literally all over the jukebox. It's yeah. like it's like that generic, like, I'm going to, I'm like, that whole uh, ride the washing machine thing. Yeah. Mm. Um, she's riding the jukebox. Yeah, but I don't but she's not even doing that. Cause she's all over that place. Like she's this putting thing. on a show. Yeah. But then I was like, was she mad because people didn't clap? Yeah, so okay. I, she's like, then, I just gave you guys a song. So a then, performance, bitches. So then, what happens immediately after this? Right, she goes and sits down, and it doesn't really show what they're drinking, or at least we couldn't see <laughs> in the versions. But I'm like, this bitch drinking Boone's Farm, right? Something like that. She's drunk off her ass now, right? Yeah. And she starts to be like, find your bitches. They're all pussies. Like, they couldn't do what I do. None of you, you're strong enough. Except for maybe mm-hmm. so-and-so. I this, know, like, she's it's like, so hard to keep this band of psycho, psycho, psycho sluts, sluts together. together. And yeah. then she's she starts like, crying. And she's like, yeah. but you're all I've got. She's like, I should leave them. Start over. I'm like, this movie's getting deep. No, like, she literally starts <laughs> crying. She's like, what you guys are all I've got. <sighs> and then so she starts, she goes to pour the mute chick another drink. And so the mute chick just kind of gestures to her drink. And I'm like, you're spilling it out of the so fucking much, drink. So much. Yeah. So much she spills. And then she goes and gets another bottle. And, and I'm like, oh, Jesus, man. This <sighs> movie is all over the fucking It place. really is. It makes no sense. It's But still ridiculous. somehow makes more sense than The Crow did. It that. did. Really did. <laughs> Uh, I've always loved the whole mind setup. I like that was so creepy to me when I was a kid because I was like, were there, are there minds in the desert where there's there? random shit? You know, like so I was like, what's down there? What is the military hiding? I always thought the military was hiding. Something. The other thing that I found oh, funny sure about plenty of shit out there. The yeah. mine entrance exit, whatever you want to call it, is that somebody put the time and effort to put a wall up with a door <laughs> just that little it's not even like a full wall it's all no. falling apart yeah. like you're not even really hiding it like, no yeah. it's like you're not so, really yeah so i always thought like it's kind of funny and they kind of almost like allude to stuff that i'm like i could see correlations between this movie and like um return of the living dead you know like the military <laughs> yeah. thing well that guy's the in the return of the living yeah, dead. And that's yeah. thing. no okay so here's my thing so the guy who plays the funeral guy, right? Yeah, the Weekend uh-huh. of Bernie's guy. The, he, the guy that plays the funeral guy is the Weekend of Bernie's guy. Mm-hmm. Who doesn't he also play the funeral guy in Return of the Living Dead? Yes, which yeah. movie yes. we also yeah. did. Yes. Yes. Okay. So my thing was about my theory is about like okay, so he was there. He saw zombies, right? Mm-hmm. He was Return of the Living Dead. He he moves or whatever, and he's living in this shit town. Starts experimenting with these zombies, right? He finds the shit that the military hit, right? Mm-hmm. And then he experiments with all these zombies and stuff, and then gets the fuck out of there finally. Like he doesn't <laughs> die at the end of this movie. He finally just moves to New York, and he's like, he's fine with killing people because he's killed people in Zariah this whole fucking time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Becomes a hitman, starts working for Bernie Lomax. Mm. <laughs> or starts, no, starts working for Vito is the other guy, not about Bernie. Starts working for Vito, who wants him to kill Bernie Lomax. He goes to kill Bernie. Kills Bernie. All of a sudden, what the fuck? Bernie's up walking around He's again. He's on the beach. He's what a zombie. Fuck? Shit. What the fuck? This can't be happening. I eradicated all this yep. stuff back years ago. <laughs> this can't be happening. I'm going to go kill Bernie again. Goes to kill Bernie again. Boom. Bernie's up and around again. It's a this whole, whole multiverse this, of this whole guy. fucking multiverse of this guy's life yep. who's just fucking zombie, zombie. All of a sudden, I can't even be a hitman anymore because zombies just keep following me. 
And then he goes crazy. Now we're going to have to do this isn't whole... He, <laughs> isn't he also in, in Weekend of the Bernies too? I think so. I think he is too. And I think there's like... Well, maybe he might be in a cameo or might something, but I think he might be in the second And one. hey, so like, in Weekend of Bernies bastard. too, Bernie is a full-on voodoo zombie. It's a, we should do Weekend of the Bernies. That's voodoo. I mean, that is... He is a voodoo zombie in <laughs> Weekend of Bernies too. It is a horror angle right there. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, that's... Um, <laughs> Six uh, degrees of this guy. That theory holds water is all I'm saying. <laughs> um, his name is Don Kalfa, and uh, sadly he died in 2016 at the age of 76. So he had a good run. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you'll recognize him in Return of the Living Dead, uh, Weekend at Bernie's. Um, he was in a million things. Yeah, so. he, you would recognize him. So right, many things. So. Uh, my, the, my favorite part in the movie, the, the part that freaked me out when I was a kid, because it has the most, I will say, production value. <laughs> Where was their production? I used Quotey fingers. Quotey fingers. <laughs> um, well, the people can't see your Quotey fingers. <laughs> the mo- the house. Oh with yeah. The family, because I think they burned that house down. Oh yeah. They, they burned legit burned a house down. down. Kim looked at me when that whole scene was going on, and she, I looked at her too when she said, "Did they just throw that baby?" They did. They throw a baby. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Like four <laughs> times. So that baby's a football. Let's talk about this scene. Okay. So the zombies are finally getting to the outskirts of the town, yes. right? So, um, well, okay, let, we skipped over the part where the the townspeople have finally had enough. Yeah, so, they want to kick them so out. So after they start, um, after Roxy starts crying about you know not having anyone but the psycho sluts, um, one of the guys gets up when his anger boner finally went down. He gets up and starts harassing the mute chick because obviously she's smaller than Roxy. Yeah. So I mean, so he's, he's like, got to take the weak one out because he's a pussy. You you've got to you've got to apologize to our friend and say and something then kiss nice him. to him. He's say dead. Something nice so and make give out him a kiss. Him. Yeah. So Roxy gets pissed off and because the guy I think calls the mute chick a dyke or something. Yeah. There's a lot of a lot of a lot of lesbians. A lot of. A lot, a lot of, of just lot of like you dykes. A lot of slurs in this movie, all kinds. Sorry. I know, but at the at one point, I'm like, you're just just saying dykes. Like, does that even matter anymore? Yeah. Like, you say it too many times, it's gonna lose so, its sting, yeah. guys. He, so the guy calls the mute chick a dyke, and then apparently Roxy's pissed off at this. She breaks a bottle and is ready to fight, and is like, "Nope, I'm the dyke." No, Blah. I don't. I don't what think. What did she say? I don't think she got mad because he wanted to. He called her a no, dyke. I mean, he's he was defending touching. Her. Well, he's defending, she's defending, you know, the other, the mute Yeah, chick. like, the, he's, saying, like, like, full on, like, trying to choke that bitch out. And I'm like, no, don't yeah. touch. Well, I'm saying, well, she's pissed at this situation, not at the, the fact that he called her a <laughs> All right, her. well, that's what it well, means. Like, okay, no, like I'm saying, saying, like, she's like, no, I'm pissed, you know, like, but by the way, I'm the dyke. And, okay, yeah. and her portrayal of um, Roxy the super dyke is what I'm going to call it, Because she wears it as a badge of honor. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. she says multiple times in this movie, like, I'm the super dyke. I think, okay, that is the epitome of what I think, like, conservative people are like lesbians are gonna ruin the world and i'm like this is what they think lesbians are really like like ah, i'm a lesbian <laughs> <laughs> that they're they ride bikes to towns yes and they like want to fight with and they and they just walk into people's houses and rape people and like yeah this is the well, whole she movie. wasn't even a lesbian okay, no. no i'm saying like this is the whole like this is the whole thing of like your uh, your argument holds no water this just argument like holds nonsense. lots of water <laughs> like, i think if people are afraid of lesbians they think that they're like roxy the lesbian, no if people I'm are afraid saying. of lesbians it's because they're turned on by lesbians let's be honest okay. <laughs> all right. there you go so if lesbians scare you, I'm, I'm sorry I have something to tell you. <laughs> angry at my curiosity. Uh so, okay, so, now so they ended up getting in a good old fashioned bar brawl where with the town who's the, decided to fuck so them yeah, and their so, money, they so gotta finally, get finally all the all the girls get back into the town square or wherever they you know, they park their bikes in, in the perfect yeah. row. Because there's a whole scene where they have to bike in one by one. Synchronize well, back up. Synchronize, yeah. boom, boom, boom. Like, so they must have taken all day to like, mm-hmm. you know, plan get that, that shot. Out. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, they're like, We get the fuck out of here because I think at this point, um, have they found Lucille yet? Or that was no. after? No. Okay. It was after. after. Um, so at this point, they're ready to get out of the fucking town. They're like, where's Roxy? And then on cue, the fucking coffin from the wake or whatever gets <laughs> thrown out of the bar window and slides across the street. And then um, I think another dude gets thrown out and then one of the chicks gets thrown out. And then they start fighting. And then so the townspeople, led by a man who apparently has permanent stink face, mm-hmm. yeah. comes with a shotgun and is like, and can only speak in two word sentences. Apparently, he's like, <laughs> "Dead man, dead store, 
Dead bar. You disrespect. You disrespect us, <laughs> us town. He was paid by the word, so yeah. they got to <laughs> screw down a lot. Can you, can you, can we you can't afford. <laughs> like we can't afford to pay you, so this is the only. Amount you were only had to say ten words. Here you go. Paying ten Sorry. words. More than ten words, and we're gonna get your. SAG like we card. can't afford to pay your SAG <laughs> card. Ten words, that's it. I'm convinced this is exactly how it went. Um. So yeah. So he basically tells them to get the fuck out of the town. And then, so the whole time, people keep running into Dee Dee, the, the Wish Reba McIntyre, and they're like, "You look familiar. You look familiar." And so, this is again, like we said, this was the hometown where she was from, and she was the um, prom or the homecoming, homecoming queen, queen or whatever. Um, so yeah, so it gets revealed that BBT is her husband, Donnie, and so then the cycle sluts kind of get pissed off at her, be like, "Why are you have a normal thing like a husband? Because apparently you're not allowed to do that yeah. unless he beats you, and then you're allowed to leave." So. And trust me, these chicks make Thelma and Louise look like housewives. Because <laughs> they're tough bitches, right? So what? They get sh- ran out to the outskirts of town. And what is it? Roxy decides. Roxy to- breaks up with Dee Dee yeah. and then tells they her. They all break up. They just- all get upset. Because Mama then, yeah. wants to leave. Her mama's like, that's my gas. You can't have my gas. Yeah. yeah. So they drive out to some abandoned place on the outskirts of town, which is apparently across the street from this house. I like the house part because I do think it's the most creepiest part. Because what? There's a father, son. The creepiest part is I don't understand what the family dynamic here no, is. No, not at all. Because there's a woman who's like nilting. N- or she's quilting. Quilting, quilting. Yes. And they're all sitting in the living room by the fireplace. There's a, the dad who keeps calling dad. And then there's another man around her age. And I don't I know think her, I think if it's her brother. brother or her husband. I think but the there's brother. also a baby in this house. So I'm really hoping it's not her brother. And she seems really uh, passive aggressive seem, towards the baby. So it doesn't really seem like it's her baby either. Yeah. So we don't know. But it's somebody's baby. Because she's dad, like, I'm here taking care of that baby. Yeah, well, because like, the, okay. the dad says, I miss so-and-so and so-and-so. And I don't know if that's other kids I or think somebody. Was, well, I think it was the mom because the mom shows up well, who's fucking babies is my question it could be well they have the other son see that's yeah. what i was like maybe it's the brothers so oh wait child. here's my here's my theory the chick was the brother's wife what brother the, bro- the other brother because the, the, the one that's alive or the, no, one, that's the one that's dead. dead well she calls the guy dad though i don't think yeah, she that's, would call, her dad. that's her dad okay that's her dad and he's missing other siblings okay. the, her, her other siblings but anyway there's a baby there and they the dad goes out to get more firewood comes in boom zombies come in whatever i don't know if i can remember like the zombies start attacking and then the, they, he comes in first with the wood yeah because he knocks on the oh, door yeah. and you there's think a, it's the zombie there's a cheesy scene uh, yeah, yeah <laughs> there's That's a right. setup and then she, he comes in and then he goes back out to get the lantern because he left the lantern outside. And that's where you get to eat. Yeah. And that's and then, when. And then that's when the zombies. That's when the door. zombie son comes back. And he's like, oh my God, son. He came back. And then he dies. But the lady's not having it. She's like, fuck this guy. He's dead. Fuck mom. I had enough of you the first time around. Like, yeah, she kills the mom. Right? She yeah. does. She hits yeah. the mom's head off. Yeah, the yeah. mom comes and she's like, bitch, you dead. No, she fuck literally you. said, I had enough of you the first time around. Yep. And she pops her head right off. Damn. That's a core memory in my brain. <laughs> and then by this point, the lantern that dad had to go out to the barn starts spreading everywhere. Yep. It has gotten knocked over and now there's a fire. And the baby is still asleep. Well, not asleep. Crying upstairs. Which, oh my gosh, the fucking zombies. The zombies? The <laughs> idiot zombies could not get to a freaking crib to eat the kid. I, they were at the crib, too. I was like, this yeah. is taking way too long to yeah, get to that just, baby. They're just standing there staring at They're just like, like, baby. See, that's why I, uh, I'm i hesitant to call these things zombies because <laughs> they're pretty fucking stupid. I know. And at the end, like, they eat, uh, they entice them with, like, butcher shop meat. Yeah. So it's not even, they like, steal human a, they meat. Steal like a, they steal, like, a side of beef and then just drag yeah. it along the road. Well, they also have that truck or whatever full of oh, yeah. the, the meat that yeah. they're all trying to crawl in at the end. That's right. Yeah, but with the house or whatever, when the baby's crying, um, the biker chicks overhear this. They're like, chopper, we gotta chicks. chopper chicks. Like, we got to save the babies. <laughs> they, and mama's like, no, there's a baby. I got to go get it. So she runs in, saves the baby, passes the football she to her other she friend. She throws the football. <laughs> she throws it to the other chick. The other chick kind of like dances around while there's two zombies in the room. They're yeah, trying to like, fight or whatever. There's a whole like dance scene with this baby that she's swinging around <laughs> in the air, throwing back and forth. They throw the baby out the window they have to throw this okay second story window second story window throw the baby out the second story window 
the military chick catches it, and then I think there's more zombies out there at this point. Yeah. You know, like, it's, yeah. Who, again, they just have to, like, as long as they just walk around them. Like, they're not yeah. very threatening at no. this point. Like, as long as they're not clumped up. And, yeah, so they they get out of, they give the baby to the townspeople because the townspeople are like, oh, you you need to help us. And they're like, we can't help you. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? You just ran us out of town. Yeah. And they're like, we'll give you $500. We'll give you $500. And they're like, all right, all right, deal. They're like, $500 like each of us? Nope, like, one flat you mean fee. Like total? Cause there's Inflation like, hasn't hit yet. Because <laughs> there's like eight of us right now. Like, that's not even like 100 bucks $500 each. isn't even enough to get us all a hotel room for uh-huh. the evening, guys. So Yeesh. They decided to take him up on their offer. And then they what? They do the montage. Well, Roxy thing. doesn't. Roxy's like, fuck this. Roxy leaves and comes back like yeah. four different she times. She does. She's movie. very fickle. She's not a great leader. But we Maybe have, that's why her biker b- chicks or her ba- her biker gang is falling apart from the inside. We had the opportunity to have a montage. The chopper gang. <laughs> at the <laughs> hardware store, but we really didn't. Because there wasn't much of a hardware store. I know. That's the, that's <laughs> well, the thing. I mean, like, they, had the, they had the chance, but they didn't get to do and it. And then one walks out with a blowtorch. They're like, what are you doing? <laughs> I was like, you know, we watched that. And she goes, like, like the fucking butane torch. Yeah, and I'm like, exactly. I, I joked with her. I'm like, they were out of stock on other shit. Like, that's, <laughs> that was literally the last lethal thing they had. Because the one of them place. got a baseball bat, which yeah. okay, They had baseball gas. I, mean, like, I think there was like maybe a rake, a shovel. You know, yeah. gen- generic, you know, hardware shit. And but then the, the one torch. chick with the blue torch at the mm-hmm. end. Like, like yeah, that's like that, save your that's, like save that's your smart. gas. Turn it off. Yeah, <laughs> like I that's don't smart. Know. But she she did fucking melt a guy's face. Like they did yeah. give her a great scene. Well, they used all like, their money on that and the house burning down, and that was all they had. <laughs> that's what they paid for. Yeah, that, that was they had little... somebody's mom bring bologna sandwiches for the craft <laughs> services. And <laughs> oh, <laughs> I forget what point did we get with the uh, the 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 zombies at the the bus. Because I remember the both caretakers of those kids get killed. Yeah, which they don't really <laughs> explain. It's really, they don't really explain how these kids end up in the middle of nothing. So yeah. the kids, uh, when we first see them, their bus is broken down, but their caretakers get it fixed enough to drive off yeah. a little bit. But and then the next again, scene, it's just cut to their bus covered in zombies. And they're yeah, like, well, we they, shouldn't have locked the teachers outside. Like, what happened? Yeah, no, one of them was like, well, if we would have done that, we would have been dead, too. And I'm like, damn, uh, fucking yeah. blind kid made well, a choice. Other, yeah, he did. The other things, too, that didn't make sense about that is, okay, you got zombies trying to get into the bus. Some of those windows have been rolled down. It's like, roll those fucking things. Roll them up. You, these kids right. are blind, so They can feel Ooh, a can window. Feel. Yeah, but if you hear a zombie outside of a window, you really think, I'm going to go feel my way around this fucking window I to guess. close it. They were blind in the movie, but those kids were not blind like actual because oh the, no shit no, no I love when he store. gets when he gets the <laughs> gun he's just convincing. like blindly no, yeah. spraying yes. okay so blind asshole kid who's fucking all the one liners right yeah he finds the, the quote the, unquote Uzi the quote the Uzi, unquote, Uzi, Uzi. Ha- falls and into his he hands just fucking, yeah yeah he falls into his hands because it's just. The guy has basically a, a, a makeshift gun rack on behind one yeah. of the bus seats mm-hmm. on this bus, right, to hold his Uzi. And so the kid grabs it and just starts shooting and starts killing all these fucking zombies. Yeah, indis- but like, he ends up killing all of them. Yeah. No, he doesn't because they all come back, remember? But he well, doesn't. there's more. Well, I always thought they were back because that one guy comes right back down from where he was. <laughs> Well, there was mm-hmm. one hanging down that maybe he missed or whatever, but I think he kills the ones the, that were on the, the side. The funnier thing about it part. is he's shooting indiscriminately, and he doesn't manage to kill any of his whatever. Well, they're all hunched down. Yeah, yeah, they're all like trying to hide. Hey, when you're blind, you have very, very good hearing. When right? you're a blind you orphan. You know how to use your hearing. <laughs> you're a blind so you, orphan. You have to so take you care can, of yourself, okay? You can hear the difference between a blind orphan and a zombie trying to and eat you. And somehow, some way, the chopper chicks find them. Yep. But then that's when I think Roxy leaves because she's like, I'm not taking care of fucking people. I'm not taking care of Fuck this. Blind you got this baby now and I'm trying to get these kids. I'm out. Like, we're no, not she helping was like, people. I'm a dyke. I'm not taking care of these kids. Roxy, we all know you're a dyke. Why we do you keep it. saying it? We Jesus. get it, Roxy. But yeah. I imagine I was a dyke. Oh. Yeah, this, I don't know. This movie's just everywhere. So at some point they uh, put all the kids in the hearse and let Bob drive them somewhere. Yeah, yeah, Bob's now turned good. Bob's now turned good. He has an exposition he scene where side. he explains how the uh, the 
Kent Undertaker guy was just experimenting. Okay, wait, wait, we missed the sheriff scene. Okay, oh. there's a weird fucking scene where the the whole time of the movie they're just trying to kill these chopper chicks. Well, they yeah. want them out of their town. Yeah. Well, sure. oh, well, no, the the, the 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 caretaker wants to kill them. Like he's well, actually yeah. like Bob's trying to kill them. Like, but the rest the, of the town just wants. Yeah, them out. the rest of the town wants them out. But like the caretaker, I think he wants to turn them into zombies and add yeah. his whatever collection kind of thing he's got. But so the whole time Bob's trying to kill them. Like he he hides in a dumpster at one point with a kitten for some reason. I don't yeah. know why he was in the kitten. There's a kitten in the dumpster with him. And he but he's, very he has like a he has gun. like a dart gun. Mm-hmm. That he's yeah. trying to like blow darts, and then he has like another like pistol and he's trying to shoot one of he tries to shoot reba wish <laughs> in the church and yeah and then billy happen. bob shows up yeah, yeah then bbt shows up and then they go and have sex um so yeah so the whole time the caretaker and bob are trying to kill them but he is trying to sneak up on them and then the sheriff comes who's like i want them out of my town and he looks like he's got his gun out like he wants to go shoot them so the undertaker guy grabs him and then he ends up stabbing him in the neck and killing the sheriff yeah and later it cuts to a scene where they're back in his, you know, like lab or whatever. He drills a fucking hole. And I mean like an actual yeah. hole in his head. Is that like a drill, though? That looked like he just took a well, he, hammer he, he and had, chunked out his head. He whatever he like did, he, he put a, a hole in saw. his head. He had, looked like he had a saw in the one shot that was like far away. But then when you cut to the scene where it's like close up, it's just a hole in this guy's head. Yeah. Right? Just so like so a, for whatever tool he used, he makes a hole in the sheriff's head. And then he puts what looks like a marijuana pipe in there. A bong. And then it slowly just goes in like it was meant to be there. Like something like a mechanical takes it. He calls it a battery. Yeah, he calls it a battery. And it goes into the fucking head and then smoke starts coming out. And then all of a sudden he's a fucking zombie at that point. Yep. Because then there's a hilarious scene where they're all getting ready to go fight the zombies. And we run into the kid that TC banged at the hardware store, who is the sheriff's son. Yeah. So he's getting ready to go help the chicks fight the zombies. And then the dad, the sheriff, shows up as a zombie. And he's like, all right, dad, we'll just put your hat on and then I'm going to lock the doors. Maybe no one will notice you're a zombie. And, and then he, he leaves him, him there. Him no, he too. tells him yeah, don't need like, anybody. He's like, go, don't need anybody. There's snacks in the fridge or yeah. some shit, right? Mm-hmm. And then he leaves him to go fight the zombies, right? Oh. Well, I mean, he's pussy whipped after yeah. the afternoon with TC. Well, I mean, he, he, that kid on the couch was probably not the only virgin in this town. Mm. Because there is a scene where BBT is telling, he's basically professing his love to uh, Wish Reba. And she's like, why don't you go out with Nadine? And he's like, she died last well, year. Well, see, that's why I wasn't. Why don't you go out with I don't Tanya? know why you thought the scene with the sheriff was so crazy. Because I was like, that's just what he does. <laughs> He's been killing everybody in this town this whole time. Yeah. No, I'm not. Talking, I'm talking about the, the 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 weird pipe that he puts in his head that makes no fucking oh, sense. Oh well, yeah. yeah. None of the like, none that, of the zombies you could have, you made could have any cut sense that, in this that movie. specific scene where he puts the pipe or whatever and put that in an evil bong movie and people would not question that. It doesn't make any like sense either because in the other one, like when he makes when he turns um, Lucille, all he does is put some blue goo in. Yeah, her. it's yeah. the Drano shit, and it comes and her blood comes out. Yeah, so I'm he like, puts why? The shit starts draining what's her blood. the difference? I yeah, I don't know. He's He's testing different, like maybe like ways of uh, distributing the thing. They changed the script halfway through the I, shooting. They uh, changed, they changed, the, they changed yeah. the name for sure. So Three all times. the biker, all the chopper chicks discover that you have to disconnect their heads from their bodies, and that's yes. how you destroy the zombies. Well, Bob explains it to him in his yeah. exposition scene. He's like, here's and when how he's, they were you know, he's flipped sides. He's, and he's switched sides now. He's good. He apparently was only w- with the Undertaker because he was like, he could make me big. He told me he, no, they, oh, that's another cringe thing. Yeah. He's like, he told me he could make me normal size. But Aww. hey, remember, the first Leprechaun had Ozzy wishing to be, you know, yeah. t- normal. So, <laughs> well, yeah. Well, this was around the same time. It was. Okay, this is so. okay so. A lot of gross storylines, folks. But that was Chopper <laughs> Chicks in Zombie Town. They ride away with their riches. Yeah, they, they blow they everything up. They explode a building with a bunch of dynamite that they get from the the town supply. Somewhere. Yeah. They find it if from the the hardware guy in the hardware store. Yeah. Remember, he shows up at the hardware during he their shows montage. Up, he shows up somewhere, the, and they, yeah. they have a dynamite storage. Yeah, because, no, he's, they're at the oh, hardware assume, store. Is it the hardware store? Yeah, because that's when like, their montage is yeah. going but on. But I assumed it was, like, uh, like somewhere else, like the, the cop armory or something. No, nope, that's why son. he had the keys yeah, for it, because she tries, the army one tries to shoot the lock off, and she can't yeah. for some apparently, reason. And then he's like, I have the key. Here like, you go. Dumb. Yeah. Like so, yeah. They blow up these drunk 
zombies. I'm, I'm not calling them zombies. And the mind. They're zombies. I always love the one zombie who's stuck in there looking at the camera. Back and forth. Yeah, it's like it's He's moving. staring at the security camera the whole time. Yep, it's just like, the it's whole like time. It's like the idiot in the, the Jack Frost. Yep. Yes. And then we see that one other zombie walking off into the desert with his radio, TC's radio still on, playing oh. her terrible music. Yes. That she it's apparently one produce. time got Tijuana picked up on. <laughs> And I'm Sorry. like, I don't know why that would be a good thing. Another great line. Yeah. Plus, I don't know how close you are to Tijuana. Plus, Is that once, impressive? I plus, don't even once know. I picked up Tijuana. I'm like, were you in San Diego? Because it's not that impressive. Right? right? Like, I don't, I don't, like, where it's were like, you? That's yes. it. It's like a, if you were in Phoenix, maybe it, that would be cool. It's but a rock. I don't care. Uh, but that was Trapper Chicks in Zombie Town. And that was our Zombie Jesus pick for this week. Happy Easter. Sunday is Easter. So happy Easter. Yes, happy Easter. Happy or birthday, Passover. Jesus. Whatever you celebrate. If you don't celebrate, happy getting egg day. Just happy fucking Sunday. Yeah. There you go. And just have a great fucking Sunday. Yeah. There you go. We'll be back next week with another zombie film. We've got two more zombie films coming yes, up do. for this month. So check back next week. We will see you then. Bye. Bye.